creatures. Thank you, Brandon. Esther, how are you doing tonight? Oh, we lost Esther. Esther, if you want to call us back, we were about to put you on. And uh, just call Hello. us back. Hello. Hello. Hi, Esther. Are you Esther? Yes, this is Esther. Um, I just want to call and congratulate you in the name of Jesus. I hmm. really appreciate your program because this is what you are talking about. I stand on it with all of my heart. And I'm really happy that God has a few people that still hold the truth the way it is. And I want to thank you so much for for having been bold uh, before the whole country and before the world. I hope this program would be aired all through the world. I'm from Romania originally, and I came here about uh, 27 years ago. And this country I love with all of my heart. And um, but I'm seeing things so much changed that nothing is wrong. Um, it's sad to see. I really am sad. But I thank you so much. I don't want to take any more time. Esther, no, I, I'm curious. Uh, is your family in, going back, are, are they Roman Catholic? No, uh, my family originally were, uh, my mom's side, they were a Jehovah Witness, um, but my mom and my father became uh, Christians when they were young, before they got married uh, at St. Costal. And uh, we lived in Romania, uh, Pentecostal, and um, I, um, we faced some Orthodox in Romania is pretty strong. Uh, they have similar beliefs like in Catholics, you know. Mm -hmm. Esther, do you see us becoming more and more like the Soviet Union, the authoritarianists? Uh, I think United States is becoming very anti-God. And it's sad, not everyone, because of course the United States still has like so many people that love the Lord with all of their hearts. But you know, I think what I'm seeing, especially in Portland area, I do not find a church that prays a lot in the churches. I cannot understand it. The why in this time when we need so much prayer, churches are not praying Sunday morning or some I mean, I don't understand it. This, this is one thing, one area where I think the church today in the United States is lacking, and I think we are losing ground. That's, that's interesting you bring that up, Esther. Do you know what Jesus did at the beginning of his ministry and at the end of his ministry? He, he said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. That's right. He started and finished his ministry with, with that command. And, yeah. But yet, why don't we see it in the evangelical church? I don't know. Maybe there, there's a falling away going on, and we're getting away from the authoritative uh, Word of God and, and getting well, you know, into, Jay, into it may, programs. It, and Esther, Jay, it may not be that bad, because you know, Jesus said, you know, when you pray, go in your closet, don't let other people see what you're doing, and pray, and God hears yes. your prayers. And so praying corporately is good, but, but he spoke specifically about going alone and praying, and, yes. and that's... You know, we don't know what our neighbors are doing in relation to that. Uh, my response to that, I do agree, because what the, we believe, whatever God says, it's perfect. I do not. Uh -huh. uh, but in the Acts, if we look, all the Christians, when they got together, they did pray. Uh -huh. And That's I don't right. believe that today's church is different than that time. That's, I agree I'm with not you. saying to, oh, you know, uh, you know, but give at least five minutes to prayer, corporate prayer. I, I agree. I agree. That's a, that, I think that would be a good thing. Also, unfortunately, not enough Christians that I meet are into the Bible, really studying oh, the Bible. Oh, that's right. That's right. And I, I would also say, you know, if people yeah. are not praying, if we're not seeing them pray corporately, they're probably not praying much privately in their homes as yeah. well. I think yeah. the two do, you know, really go hand in hand. Yeah. Maybe. I, I want to share something here. As, um, Esther. Esther. Out of Ezra, by the way. <laughs> the prophet Ezra, chapter 7, verse 10. It says, For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach statutes and ordinances in Israel. So yeah. first he set his heart. He, and how do you set your heart? But only by prayer. Yes. Yeah. You must pray, 
And yeah. then you must do it. And yeah. then you must teach it. That's, mm -hmm. that's the application I get out of Ezra. So it all, again, starts with prayer and setting your heart right with Lord. I agree. Let me ask something else to ask Esther before we run out of time. Um, I'm just wondering, did you hear what we said? I was reading something about this Council of Europe. Did you hear that? Yes, I hear that. I heard that. What did yes. you think of that? Well, you know, I, I personally believe it's, uh, you know, in Europe, it's a very anti-God. And it's no surprise to us. We grew up under communism. And, you know, we are, as Christians, I wish today our children, unfortunately, uh, my, our children do not believe, I mean, we teach them the same way, but they choose their own way, you know, and I hope God will change them. But anyways, I don't want to change. I'm just saying that the, it's normal. Europe is pretty anti-God, unfortunately. It's kind of sad to see, and I am saddened, but this is, this is to be expected. It's nothing new. We are not surprised. There is no surprise. Right. Well, the Bible does say, doesn't it, that in yeah. the end times, things are going to wax worse. Men are going to be deceivers. Lovers of money, lovers of pleasure. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. all the nations eventually are going to be yeah. rebelling directly against Christ. Is that right? Yes, exactly. And what we see today, it's just what's going to happen. I mean, people who believe today, oh, it's going to be better. No. I mean, uh, the whole world is prepared for antichrist, and that's, that if we are watchful what's going on, we don't even have to open the TV. We see that everything the Bible said is happening to our, in our, uh, behind our, before our eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed every day what I'm hearing. It's and unbelievable. W would you agree, Esther, that um, Jerusalem was probably the biggest evidence we have today about end, about the end times? That's right. That's right. Jerusalem, and like you have talked uh, earlier about uh, uh, people that don't have heart for God anymore, they, there is no shame, there is, um, people are just mocking the, the truth seekers. They are, and I'm sad, so happy about this uh, title you guys have, that uh, Lord help you and God bless you and I'm really happy I hope God brings more people and and have a place in Portland where people meet and they have the same belief system and we are not going to bow to Baal to Baal and we are not going to bow to Antichrist or whoever comes and we don't know God bless you God bless you thank you Esther yeah and it's calls like that that give us that uh, encouragement to continue on and to run the race as 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 though we're going to seek the prize and that's what Paul exhorted all believers to run the race as you're going to as though you're going to win the prize in other words it's non-stop and you're going to go till you reach that finish and, line and Jesus talked about a spiritual battle and so did Paul mm -hmm. and that's what the the race is, is a battle, really, is it not? Well, yeah, Paul, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the powers and principalities and spiritual wicked and dominions of this world. I mean, it's a spiritual battle. We may see the flesh, but it's the demons that we're battling. Being used by Satan, the arch adversary of God. For, for the reason of deceiving and destroying. And that's something that it's, it's important for us to understand, for everyone to understand, is that the people, even, you know, Muslims, Catholics, everyone else, Hindus, they are not the enemy. We are, we are not, you know, struggling against these people. We are not putting down people. Uh, you know, we, we disagree with the systems, with the religions and the beliefs and such, but the people themselves um, are not, they're not enemies. They're, you know, we, we struggle against the spiritual, not against the people. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we'll be back next week, same time. So have a great week. We've got about 14 seconds. And thanks to all the callers tonight. And God bless you. And we hope to see you again next week. And thank you, Brandon, for coming down. And hope to see you again. Good night, everyone. Good night.